Welcome back guys. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 6.3 intersections of straight lines and circles. 6.3 represents chapter 6, section 3 of the Pearson A Level Maths Pure Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this particular section. Suppose g of x and y equals c, where c is a constant, represents a circle. And suppose y equal f of x represents a straight line. Let's call g of x and y equal c, equation 1, and y equal f of x, equation 2. If I substitute equation 2 into equation 1, rearrange, take everything to the left-hand side, I get an equation of the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 where a, b and c are constants. Now this particular equation could have no solutions, two solutions or one solution. This is all dependent on the discriminant of the quadratic. So number one, b squared minus 4ac is greater than zero. This implies that we have two distinct solutions, in other words, roots. Okay, so if we have two distinct roots, we have the following scenario. We've got a circle and we've got a line intersecting twice, as you can see over here. Second scenario, b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero. This implies that there will be one repeated root. Okay, so let's draw a diagram of this scenario. We've got a circle and a line touching once. Okay, one repeated root. And finally, the third scenario, b squared minus 4ac is less than zero. This implies that there are no real roots. Okay, so the circle and the line will not intersect. You've got something that looks like this. So that's your circle and that's your line, no intersection. So ladies and gents, these are the key facts that we're going to be using in order to answer two exam style questions. Here is exam style question one. The line with the equation y equal kx intersects the circle with the equation x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 12y plus 57 equal to zero at two distinct points. Part A, show that 21k squared minus 60k plus 32 is less than zero. Part B, determine the range of possible values for k. So let's start off with part A. I've got the equation of the line, y equal kx, equation 1, and I've got the equation of the circle, x squared minus 10x plus y squared minus 12y plus 57 equal to 0, equation 2. I can substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So substitute equation 1 into equation 2. We're going to replace the y's with kx. So I've got x squared minus 10x plus y squared would be k squared x squared minus 12y would be minus 12kx plus the 57 equal to 0. Now I'm going to collect the x squared terms and the x terms and keep the constant on the outside. So I've got x squared plus k squared x squared minus 10x minus 12kx plus the constant 57 on the outside equal to 0. Now I can factorise this and factorise this. The reason why I'm doing this is I'm trying to rewrite this quadratic equation in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0 so we can identify the a, b and c easily. Okay, so if I factorise these two terms, inside the bracket I can put 1 plus k squared and x squared on the outside. If I factorise these two terms, I can put plus inside the bracket will go minus 10 and minus 12k. Outside we've got the x plus 57 equal to 0. Now we can read off the a, b and c. The a is equal to 1 plus k squared. The b is equal to minus 12 minus 12k and the c 
will just be positive 57. In the question, it says that the line intersects the circle at two distinct points. Intersect at two distinct points. This implies that b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. Okay, so we can substitute our a, b and c into b squared minus 4ac greater than 0. So if I do this, I get the following result. In bracket, minus 10 minus 12k squared minus 4 lots of my a, which is 1 plus k squared, uh, multiplied by the c, which is 57. So this whole expression has to be greater than 0. We can open this up into double brackets and we can expand this bracket, simplify, and if I do this, I end up with the following result. Minus 84k squared plus 240k minus 128 is greater than 0. Okay, so how do I go from this inequality to this inequality? First of all, I've got greater than 0 here, but over here I've got less than 0. So what I need to do is divide by a negative number. So what number should I divide by? So that, for example, the coefficient of k squared goes from minus 84 to 21. Well, that number would be minus 4. So I divide the whole inequality by negative 4. So if I do this, my first term becomes 21k squared. My second term becomes minus 60k. And my third term becomes positive 32. If you divide by negative, the inequality will flip. We have less than zero. So that is the result that we wanted in part A. Let's move on to part B. Determine the range of possible values for K. So from part A, we have the following inequality. So this inequality, ladies and gents, is a quadratic inequality. I'm going to solve this quadratic inequality by using a quadratic graph. First of all, let's work out the critical values. In other words, the k-intercept with the horizontal axes. So we have to solve 21k squared minus 60k plus 32 equal to 0. So I can solve this using um, the quadratic formula, for example. So if I use the quadratic formula, I get that the solution to this equation would be k equal 60 plus or minus square root 912 all over 42. So there are two k intercepts. Now both k values would be positive. If you put into your calculator, you can check it. So now I'm going to proceed forward by drawing a quadratic graph. So here is my quadratic graph. The horizontal axis is the k-axis and the vertical axis is my y. Okay, so there are two intercepts and we know that the coefficient of k squared is 21. It's positive, so we have a u-shaped graph. So my graph looks something like this. This intercept over here will be k equal 60 minus square root 912 over 42, which is positive, and this k-intercept therefore would be k equal 60 plus square root 912 all over 42, which is also positive, but it is greater than this number. All right, now the left-hand side over here represents y. So what I want to do is shade um, the part of the graph that represents y is less than 0. So y is less than 0 for all points on this part of the curve. Okay? Which means that the solution for k, the range of possible values for k, would be k is more than 60 minus square root 912 all over 42 but less than 
60 plus square root 912 all over 42. So that there, ladies and gents, completes part B of the question. And this exam style question. Here is exam style question 2. The line with the equation y equal 2x plus 5 meets the circle with the equation x squared plus kx plus y squared equal 4 at exactly one point. Find two possible values of k. Firstly, we've got the equation of the straight line, which is y equal 2x plus 5. I can call this equation 1. We've also got the equation of the circle, which is x squared plus kx plus y squared equal 4. I can call this equation 2. Now I can substitute equation 1 into equation 2. So I'm going to be replacing y with 2x plus 5. So substitute equation 1 into equation 2. I've got x squared plus kx plus y squared, which is the same as y times y. In other words, 2x plus 5 in brackets multiplied by 2x plus 5 in brackets equal to 4. My next step is to expand and simplify this and take the 4 to the left hand side. So I've got x squared plus kx plus 2x times 2x which is 4x squared. 2x times positive 5 is positive 10x. Uh, positive 5 times 2x is positive 10x. And positive 5 times positive 5 is positive 25. Minus my 4 equal 0. So now I'm going to simplify this x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. Uh, then we've got plus kx plus 10x plus 10x, which is 20x. Um, 25 take away 4, that is positive 21, equal to 0. Okay, I can factorise these two terms over here. Rewrite it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0. So it's easy for me to read off my a, b and c. So I've got 5x squared plus, inside the brackets, I'll have k plus 20, and outside I will have x plus my constant 21 equal to 0. So now we can read off the a, b, and c. The a coefficient of x squared is 5. b, the coefficient of x is k plus 20. c, the constant term is positive 21. In the question, it says that the line meets the circle at exactly one point. So we have that line meets circle at exactly one point. This implies that b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. There's one repeated root. So we're looking at scenario number 2. Now I can substitute my a, b, and c into b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. This in turn implies that k plus 20 in bracket squared minus 4 lots of my a, which is 5, multiplied by my c, which is 21. This whole thing has to equal 0. So I can expand and simplify this. And if I do this, I end up with k squared plus 40k minus 20 equal to 0. Right, so we can solve this equation. If we solve this, we get k equal minus 20 plus or minus 2 lots of square root 105. So the line will meet the circle at exactly one point for two possible values of k. And those values are k equal minus 20 plus 2 lots of square root 105 or k equal minus 20 minus 2 lots of square root 105. That there ladies and gents completes exam style question 2 and this teaching video. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post teaching videos.